Hi, this is Sharon from Sharon's Scrappy Space, and I wanted to show you uh, how to best use your background stamp in getting it inked up and all. Now, I've, I've used the other way, and I've actually, I'm a tall person, so it, I can grab this stamp and turn it, but it's still hard to get that good grasp to where I don't um, have a problem and smear ink. So I wanted to show you uh, one of the ways that I've discovered works the best. As you can see, I am just picking up my brayer each time I go over it. And I've got my brayer inked. It doesn't take a lot to get it inked. And basically, what you're going to do is just run your brayer over your background stamp like this. And it gives it a great, even coverage. And I've got a couple of pieces of paper here. Now, with, using this stamp, you want to make sure your paper is up pretty straight because you don't want it going sideways. I mean, you might, but I, I usually like to have mine straight. So, I've got just a uh, piece of paper here. It's uh, just a uh, piece of uh, generic card stock. And there we have it. You can see how it's, it's inked up and it gives it a really good even coverage. I'll show you that one more time. And I'm, I'm running my brayer uh, long ways over instead of this way because I want to make sure I get good coverage on my uh, brayer. And I'll do it one more time. Now I got that a little crooked, but I'm going to just push it over a little bit. And I've been fortunate because I've not had it smear on me. when I do that, especially using the brayer. There we go. No smears, even though I had to move it a little bit. So, this has really uh, turned out to be a really good way to use your background stamps. Now, I'm just going to get a regular diaper wipe, and I've discovered that actually cleaning the brayer and the stamp at the same time works pretty well too. So I'm just running this diaper wipe over the stamp, making sure I get to all the edges and I only use the rest of it and just make sure I got everything off this, which it, I've gotten all that off. And I'm going to stamp this to show you that it all came off there too. So just a couple tips on using background stamps and the uh, Stampin' Up brayer. I hope you found this tip helpful. Check out my website for more ideas and tips on using Stampin' Up products. And I would absolutely love to be your Stampin' Up demonstrator. Thank you and have a great day.